This is Top Accolade African News. I am Abiodun Mohamed. There has been heavy damage to buildings along with power cords and flooding in eastern Madagascar as Cyclone Freddy struck the region. Four people are reported to have been killed. Among the casualties was a 77-year-old man who drowned near the town of Mahanoro. Roofs were torn off buildings there. The weather system has rapidly weakened as it heads southwest across Madagascar. At least 10 people have been confirmed to have died following an attack in Somali's capital, Mogadishu. The authorities say they have ended the siege at a building, which was attacked by fighters from the Al Shabaab Islamist group. Heavily armed fighters from the group stormed a building occupied by pro government militia on Tuesday night and killed several people. It took hours for the authorities to end the siege in the Abdi Aziz district. Heavy gunfire and explosions could be heard late into the night. Security forces say they killed four members of Al Shabaab, which had said it was behind the attack. The group has lost a huge amount of territory in recent months following an offensive by Somalia's military, backed by African Union and US forces and clan militia. Russia will not fire its new generation Zircon hypersonic missile during a joint naval exercise it is participating in. Alongside South Africa and China, a senior Russian naval officer said on Wednesday, the 10-day exercise which is taking place off South Africa's eastern coast and coincides with the one-year anniversary of Russia's invasion of Ukraine has raised alarm among Western governments. Russia's task news agency reported earlier this month that the frigate participating in the drills would perform a training launch of the Zircon missile system during the exercise. However, Captain Oleg Gladke, who is heading the Russian contingent, said during a media briefing that no test launch would take place. President Vladimir Putin has called the Zircon, which can travel at more than five times the speed of sound, unstoppable. U.S. First Lady Joe Biden has arrived in Namibia on the first stop on a five-day Africa tour, part of a push by the United States to strengthen its ties on the continent. Biden landed at the airport in Namibia's capital, Windhoek, on Wednesday afternoon before heading to Eros Acre, a war memorial with the First Lady of Namibia. Her trip will focus on education, health, and empowering youth and women, she said in a statement on social media. After Namibia, she will go to Kenya, where she will hear from those affected by drought and food insecurity, she said. The Biden administration is planning a slew of high-level visits to Africa this year in an effort to counter the influence of China and Russia on the continent. That is the size of Top Accolade African News. You can follow us on our social media platforms as displayed on your screen. Happy Midweek!